So I decided to do a, a ranking of the Spider-Man movies. So this is going to be, uh, I believe there's like nine Spider-Man movies. So this is basically going to be a ranking of worst to best for Spider-Man movies. Let's get to it. So at the bottom of the list is going to be Amazing Spider-Man 2 for me. Um, this one just didn't do it for me. Uh, plus two, they're trying to force, you know, plot lines for Sinister Six too. So just different things put this one at the bottom for me. Next up on the list is going to be Spider-Man 3. Now, uh, my first viewing of this movie back when it first came out, like, uh, just didn't like it as much as other Spider-Man movies, but as years gone on, I seem to enjoy it a little bit more and a little bit more better over the years. But still, it's not, it's not what I want for a Spider-Man movie entirely. So that's why it's at this spot on the list. Next up on the list for me is going to be Spider-Man Homecoming. Like, I really did enjoy this movie. And I really did uh, enjoy some of the aspects that they were trying to do with him being in high school still. Overall, it was a really bad film. It just didn't uh, hold up to, like, the other Spider-Man films. And that's why it's on this spot on the list. Next up on the list for me is going to be The Amazing Spider-Man. So I really think Andrew Garfield is a great Spider-Man. I know he got, uh, you know, bashed on in the past couple years. Uh, but honestly, this isn't a bad, like, Spider-Man film for, like, an origin story for him. And honestly, I like uh, the way that he portrays Spider-Man. Next up on the list is going to be Spider-Man Far From Home. I don't know if it was because I was still on the Endgame high, but I've seen this movie, like, what was it, like, two months after Endgame. Um, I didn't like it as much. I wasn't as, uh, I guess, impressed as much. But since then, over the years, after continuously watching it, I enjoyed it more and more. Next up on the list, we got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I absolutely love this movie. It's amazing. Uh, I was glad to be able to see Miles Morales finally in a movie, along with uh, some of the other versions of Spider-Man. So I really absolutely like this movie. I definitely cannot wait for the second one. Next up on the list is going to be the original Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the best origin story for Spider-Man. Has one of the best villains. And honestly, I still enjoy it to this day. Next up on the list is going to be Spider-Man 2. This is one of those movies that it's a rare occasion where the first or the second movie is actually better than the original movie. Had a great villain in Doc Ock in this movie. Story was excellent. And overall, I just like really, I really like it. I still like it to this day. And finally, at the top spot for me is going to be Spider-Man No Way Home. This movie did such an excellent, uh, with story-wise and fan service and just a little bit of anything and everything. And this movie was done well. Seeing Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield come back was amazing. It had great character development for Tom Holland, Spider-Man. And overall, it was just done well. So time will tell if this movie actually holds up over the years. But as of right now, it's the best Spider-Man movie for me.